Item number SCP-1767 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1767 is kept in a custom-built aquarium equipped with automated and manually operable medical equipment. Vital signs are continually monitored. Noticeable changes are to be responded to immediately by the designated medical team. Water temperature is maintained at 20 degrees Celsius. Water pumps are installed to assist in respiration when necessary. Request to put SCP-1767 in a medically induced coma is currently under review. Update. SCP-1767 has been in a medically induced coma since shortly after containment was enacted. Staff assigned to SCP-1767 now have the primary assignment of researching and analyzing the documents that are present on SCP-1767 was discovered. Description SCP-1767 is an agent believed to be working for an organization of similar structure and purpose to the SCP Foundation. The primary difference between that the organization with which SCP-1767 is associated with primarily deals with physically attacking animals with traits present in the Alice Model Bronchi subclass. A subclass of Configurates or cartilaginous fish, including the sharks and rays, skates and sawfish. Physically, SCP-1767 is a mutilated aquatic creature. It has five pairs of gill slits and a bony skeleton made of a tough elastic cartilage. The dorsal fins are large enough to cover the entirety of both sides of the body, resembling those of the Bedoria. Said dorsal fins terminate in three flexible digits, a metallic construct resembling a metal helmet with neurotrophonic electrodes had been crudely attached to both sides of SCP-1767 skull. Research so far concludes that said device is not functional, and further study has been suspended due to the potential health risks that would result from attempting to remove it. On the right side of the device, the words Mental multispacing by the Aneroid Collective are engraved in its cursive font. Foundation neurologists have determined that SCP-1767 was at one point in time intelligent enough to understand language and might even have been capable of writing. When SCP-1767 was encountered and contained, however, it was nearly comatose. Neural imaging reveals that its brain is heavily damaged and the most likely cause determined to be either oxygen deprivation, the attachment of the device, or a combination of both. Foundation research into the organization which previously created and employed SCP-1767 has determined that its existence is not a hoax, despite several initial theories to that effect. The multi-year department has been instructed not to make primary contact with any organization claiming to be or are representing a center with the primary goal of punching sharks. SCP-1767 was discovered after reports of a monstrosity reported by local fishermen who were escalated to the Foundation by a Foundation-affiliated marine biologist. Despite being nude and barely conscious, it was firmly grasping what remained of a notebook. Though this notebook was constructed from water-resistant materials, the majority of the pages seemed to be missing, possibly due to being torn out by SCP-1767 or other fauna. Foundation personnel have reconstructed the writing to the best of their ability. It is presumed that several days or weeks are missing between entries. Addendum 1767A SCP-1767 Documentation The notebook found with SCP-1767 appear to have been constructed by it, containing documents pertinent to its creation and usage as well as personal notes and journal entries. It is not known if SCP-1767 was collecting these documents for a wider purpose beyond its own desire to document itself, but a higher purpose is suspected due to none of SCP-1767's other possessions being found with it. Written on interior cover, they make me to hit, so call me Punch. First page. Got this today. 
told to write down everything I think of for at least 15 minutes. Only I'm gonna see. Top 10, punching, hitting, slapping, chopping, punching again, swim punching, aerobic punching, spin punching, punching while upside down, and music lessons. Bottom 10, sharks, 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 sharks. I can't think of any more, but let's throw in a 4 to 10. Note, this appears to be an error on SCP-1767's part. With all the different kinds of things that look like sharks, hope there aren't that many. Second page. They built her for me. I don't even know her name, but it's the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. They won't let me in her room yet. They need to check her vitals and stuff. One day, they said we might have kids to beat the crap out of some tooth-shedding, colored rich having assholes. Do sharks have assholes? Whatever, I'm gonna give them assholes. Assholes. She's doing okay, maybe. She doesn't want to be touched, but her eyes are cold. Dr. Jules says it will pass. I hope she can punch real good. Fifth page. She's cold. We went on a date. Jules set it up. To go beat the crap out of some underspeak easy aquarium business. Bastard wore a shark shirt. She could hit all right, but there was no heart to the hitting. At the end, didn't even get a hug. A stiff handshake. I can still feel the cold. Really look forward to that first hug. Jules told me perfect like if she doesn't warm up to me. They can scrap her and make another. Didn't tell him in private or public. That makes my stomach go into knots. Maybe that's what's holding us back. I'll have to be honest with her. Eighth page. I told her. Jules knocked me in my chamber. He hasn't told me what he'll do to me. Eleventh page. She's gone. They liquidated her last night. Jules is taking me to the ocean tomorrow for liquid sharpening of my skills. Is he going to get rid of me too? He got rid of the model before me too. That's what they told me anyway. It's weird. I don't know if it's bothering me that much. I think Jules believes that I'm... I don't know if I feel anything. Maybe I deserve it? Being the thing sharks swim through? I let this happen. Made her for me. And I didn't listen. I stink. Twentieth page. I'm not dead. So that's good, I guess. They were surprised I still punch as hard as I did. They call me hardcore because I don't even care about losing my lover. She hated me to the end. They don't know I know, but they keep leaving stuff out when they go boxing. Thirtieth page. I had a dream. I never dream. Didn't even know I could. It was scary, but it was also comforting. Like I was being embraced. I was definitely underwater. Someone tried talking to me, like they were selling me something, but also not. I don't know why, but when I woke up, I was crying. I don't know why. I know it wasn't for Lily. I don't know. I don't know. I hate not knowing. Has she been dead for three weeks already? Must have been a bad one. I woke up and instantly knew didn't even want to hit anything underwater. Completely certain of that thing. 33rd page. She's coming back again and again. I wish I could punch her in dreams. But my hands move so slow, my technique is all off. While I'm there failing, she's just talking to me. He? She? The voice is so soothing. I never remember what we talk about. Maybe a little? I know there was music. 40th page. Jules and Mike talked about something bizarre today. I heard them talk from the meeting room. Only something. Don't know what it means. Training was boring. Blah, blah, blah. Punching whatever. I just want to go punch a shark, not her. Last two words appear to have been erased and rewritten several times. 
45th page. Trying to convince me this is all real. Am I convincing myself? I hate that I'm so confused all the time. I think I want proof. 100 proof. Just so I know I'm not cracking up. 47th page. Holy crap! Jules had a dream about her. He described her perfectly. He told me that it was dangerous. This is what I was made for? I stood stoic there and nodded, but don't know if I can do it. She's not all shock, I don't think. Maybe a different kind of shock? 48th page. She told me what Jules wrote on a whiteboard and I left. It's still there. She's real. I might be going insane. Jesus Christ, she's real! 55th page. We're talking every night now. I told him I lost my old journal. Note, typo is original to the documentation. I needed a new one. I don't know what will happen to me if they eat this. Probably nothing good. My little goldfish gives me so much energy, helping me to get better so they won't know I got a real friend. Showing me how to be a lucid dream shock puncher. I punched so hard that the head almost came off. I am the Turbo Shock Popularizer 8000. Keep them coming! Documentation from the supposed center was found stable to the notebook. Despite water damage, the majority of the text is still legible. Project number SPC 2521. Zerkian Prenial Capabilities. SPC 2521 is able to strike those entities which only manifest in dreams. It consists of a constructed humanoid with the works applied to them, with the addition of technology gained through connections to the Honoroy Collective. SPC 2521 is a key asset to the SPC as its target present a major threat for morale. Us, they can possibly enact psychological warfare when we are most vulnerable. Dream journal entries detailing encounters with sharks should be promptly delivered to the security chief on duty. You will then be punched in the head until the dream cannot be remembered. Project Components SPC-2521 is an asset capable of striking any sneaky sleepy shark which attempts to communicate with members of the center in their sleep. The sharks targeted with the SPC-2521 project are presumed to be living in an extra-dimensional plane of existence which can be accessed in dreams. The dream space has inhabitants in various forms most of which are sentient, differentiate from normal dreams in that, in almost any contact incident, multiple people report having dreams that are almost identical and describe their dreams to be extremely vivid and very detailed. The SPC has not determined why the dream sharks still need girls. This is particularly important as the functionality of the girls is a key determinant in punching strategy, as in reality it is a designated weak point, but in a dream, there is a potential that it serves as a decoy function. Augmentation Summary Collaboration with the monsters of the Honor World Collective has resulted in the creation of a special helmet, letting SPC assets interact with dream sharks in a physical fashion, specifically beating them senseless. Helmets are certainly in a prototype stage, not applicable to field work. Unattractive and too shiny. Gives away the position of the fist relative to the head. No good. Enhancement Summary Assets participating in the 2521 program are given standard physical enhancement and mental handicaps. Potential assets in a grooming process with a natural proclivity for sleeping are to be earmarked for assignment to the 2521 punching program. The permit record, only one asset is currently active in the SPC-2521 program. However, it is highly promising and has promised probably to be really good at punching in dreams. I'm not good at it now, but I just have to practice more and drink milk. Although this is pure nonsense, the drive they have shown in achieving these goals is proof that they have the drive to achieve the goals of the center. 64th page. I can't sleep, which is the worst worst ever. I'm worried that 
I can't tell anyone why, because I can't fall asleep, which is why I'm worried. I can't hit anything to take the edge off. And what if Jules found that you're real? He would try to punch you, right? I'm just going to draw a shark in my forehead and punch it until I'm looking her in the eyes. She's got a big brain. We can't figure it out. 69th page. Her name's Judy. I don't want to punch her. I tried to touch, but then I woke up. She looked so sad. But I feel better. 70th page. I had a physical last night. I know they could tell I wasn't into it. Ask me what was wrong. Nothing is wrong with me. In fact, I feel like I'll be the happiest illegible. And I don't want to hit to be happy. If the center beats any of this, I'm going to be boneless anyways. So, I don't need to hit to be happy. 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 I love you, Judy. I don't need to hit to be happy. 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 Don't need to hit to be happy. I don't need to hit to be happy. I don't need to hit to be happy. 79th page. I think they found out. They know. Everyone is looking at me sideways. Only Roy. I heard Jules use the word today. Is where Judy comes from. They ordered Eljabo to look for them. I tried to convince them to let me do it instead. They know that I, eligible, they have to. I just better let you go, eligible. See you again? I have to do something, right? 82nd page. I didn't see you last night. I wanted to tell you something important. You can't even read this. Why am I writing it to you? I love you, eligible. Mike knows that I've stopped caring about the cars. I want to leave the center, leave everything, but I can't. They'll find one of us eventually. They might do more than punch us. I think. I hate waking up. I'm so glad you're okay. 99th page. Mike knows. He read my diary. He laughed at me and said you weren't real. I said you were, and that he knew that only Roy was real as well. He stopped laughing. I screwed up. Please tell me it's going to be okay. I screwed up. I'm so angry. Might be a bad idea, but I'm going to strangle that asshole. One hundred and first page. I didn't strangle anybody, but it turns out when you punch them enough, the result is basically the same. Planted some shock tea on his body, so it's only to keep them distracted so long. Judy wouldn't know what to do. She needs to know what to do. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Mike, but you are going to get me killed. Jules is going to figure out soon. Can't do that to him, too. I thought I knew what it is to have a tummy in knots before. I haven't eaten in three days, and that was before I heard him. Maybe I need to. God, why did I make everything worse? 110th page. I can't sleep. You visit me, but so does Mike. Please do something so he goes away. I want to be with you. I caught him today. We might be together soon. Then I don't have to sleep to see you. Mike won't see me alone. I don't deserve it anyway. Scrap of paper glued to the interior of the back cover. Judy told me we gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. Forgave me too. Told me I have a new name. Judy calls me her bow. We're going tonight. I don't know where, but we can't stay here. Addendum 1767B. For the documentation of SCP-1767 has been found in recovered screenshots and data originating from the Honor Royal Collective. Analysis of this information is ongoing.